Is it hot in here or is it just me? So to change their missions, Burger King went on a mission testing diets that would help produce their farts. That's a start. And my now they're in question that it's helping cows digestion, adding lamb and grass so they can lay their parts. Well, that catchy little tune was an ad put out by Burger King in the last week or two, and the claim is they're going to reduce methane gas and help with climate change with a new diet they're going to feed their cows. Let's talk a little bit about what this is going to do and what it's not going to do for our climate change situation. Let's start with methane and the percent of greenhouse gas emissions that it represents. It's a relatively small percent at 10 percent, but it is worth noting that methane is a much stronger greenhouse gas when compared to carbon dioxide. Now the catch here is methane doesn't stay in the atmosphere as long. That's why we focus on CO2 most of the time. So within that, methane emissions from the United States you'll see what Burger King is actually targeting. <laughs> this is uh, a nice way to say belches and farts from cattle, more or less, and it's 28% of that methane kind of budget, so to speak. But there is a bit of an additional catch to all of this, which is, although it makes for a funny ad, it's actually not cow farts that get us as much as cow burps. Uh, it's roughly estimated at 95% of that methane comes out through belches and only about five or in some estimates 10 percent comes out through farts. So long story short we're kind of really narrowing down the change that we're impacting here. Now there's a couple of ways to look at this. Is this going to make a huge difference in climate change uh, as far as sources from the United States? The answer is no and if you look at it Beef is just a really high impact product when you talk about climate change. And one of the reasons for that, one of the biggest reasons, is actually deforestation. It's not about the cows burping and farting, as funny as that might be. It's about clearing all this land that would otherwise be a carbon sink and using it to graze cattle and actually to grow feed for the cattle. So that's a high impact no matter how you look at it. It kind of depends where you're coming from. So, a lot of people would say, well, look at tofu, look at the vegetarian diet. We should all be vegetarian, and that would be the biggest thing to help with climate change. But it ain't going to happen, right? We're not suddenly going to get the entire world, the entire United States, to get off meat products. So I look at it and say, is it a huge difference? Probably not. But as they said in the ad, hey, it's a start. 